Hello, welcome to today's video. I start the ride with a flood, eh? There's been a lot of rain, you know. It's that big storm. Morning, Ian. Good morning, Paul. How are we doing? I'm all right. We had a big puddle up there. Yeah. We had enough of rain this week. Yeah, do you know what, Paul? I'm so glad I got my mud guards on. Yeah, you would be, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm so glad, yeah. mate. But it's not November. Oh. Oh. No. no mud guards, you see, because it's not November. Just comment, just comment, just comment in the bottom box. Who's got the mud guards on already? Do you work to the November rule? I work to, if the road's wet, mud guards go on. Is it flooded? Yeah. Very deep. Is it flooded in there? We made a stone and stuff, aren't we? Okay, well, he's, he's testing it for us. I'm sure it'll be all right. It's not close to bike, he says it's just going to get wet feet. I won't want to risk it in a car. I might do it in the van. The van sits higher. Would you do it in your lorry? Oh god, yeah. 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 I don't really want to risk it climbing and falling off and getting wet feet. Was it, it wasn't any deep. Well, then you go first. Here we go. Oh, I've got wet feet. Get wet feet. <coughs> I didn't put waterproof shoes on and my feet are wet. If Ian doesn't come through this behind me, I'm gonna have to go back. I wouldn't be very happy about that. My feet are properly wet now. So in rural Lincolnshire, there is a lot of flooding as there is around much of the country, I do believe. In all the years of riding, I've never ever seen that road flooded though. Oh, I wish I'd done that. What? Bleep, bleep, bleep. I've got wet feet now. Yeah, I've got very wet feet. If I put my waterproof boots on, like I just discussed, I'd have been all right. No, you wouldn't, because the water it'd have yeah, stayed in. Yeah, but they see it but well, one's got in. But it's not November, it's not officially winter properly, fully. So I can't put winter boots on yet. I think I would have gone through there in a car. Bit borderline. Mm. Right. Come yeah. on. Is a bacon roll calling? Yes. Actually, I've already had a bacon roll this morning. Yeah, you're not having one. <laughs> Maybe I'll have egg instead. Oh no, I had bacon and egg roll. Oh well. I've never known that section of road to flood though, have you? No. Do you know what I reckon it is, Paul? What? The local authorities <laughs> haven't cleaned the gutter now. That's what it and is. It's not the local authorities' job. I keep telling you this. Who's is it? I keep telling him. Local authorities don't look after the roads. That's county councils, national highways, not local. It's not. More flooding in. <laughs> so it looks here like this car has been raided it's been raided of everything in it yeah so we reckon that all of these were probably stuck in the flood yesterday engines cut out now they've been smashed into and raided why do people do that so this nice new mercedes i don't know if you'll be able to see that but inside that is mayonnaise so idiots have sprayed it with mayonnaise. Hey? Is it a Hellman's or mayonnaise or a Aldi? It's an Aldi. Aldi, is it? Yeah. It's, a, it's not a lake, it's a field. I know where this goes. Is it? Where? It'll be muddy at the other end. Oh, will it? Yeah. But it might be interesting to go to. It's a waterworks. 
A Titanic voyage. A Titanic voyage? A Titanic voyage. <laughs> but is that one that give you the sinking feeling? Yeah. So we're heading down this track. I thought there's no point going off road today because it's going to be ridiculously muddy and we'll just spend hours cleaning bikes. But I'm intrigued. I did a video a while ago at the end of this track um, and there was the water reclamation area, all flatlands. I'm intrigued how, how much water there is there. So we ventured off road, doing exactly what I said we wouldn't do because it would be muddy and we're testing it. Good. And uh, it's surprisingly not muddy. To my right, just there, that is all like wetland, marshland. It's some form of reed filtration system. Water gets pumped into it, I do believe, and filtered through the reeds. But with the amount of rain we've had oh, and how it's flooded the roads, I'm just quite surprised this isn't totally underwater. Dry here, mate. Yeah, good, good. I mean, I'm not sure with the weather forecast whether we've got any more dew. Um, I don't think there's big rain, is there? No. But say a month of rain come down in an afternoon yesterday. Yeah. That was the problem. <coughs> oh, we think we might have a, hit a bit of a problem here. This does look quite deep. We've got some new flooding by a river. Oh yeah, that is deep, isn't it? That is very deep. Let's give it a go. You're a fucking Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> uh, I think that was maybe too deep. Right there, Paul. Oh. Right there. Yeah, that's, that's probably too deep. The issue we have now is that the coffee shop was a mile over that river. That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Oh. Shall we have a look? Oh, yeah. Oh, that could be dramatic, Ian. That's You're proper flooded there, look. I don't even think we'll get in there, mate. No, we won't. No. <laughs> Actually, we won't be going that way. It's all flooded here. You might not be able to pick it out, but just up there is the top of the bridge. So you've got a bridge that you can go over if you don't want to go through the river. And uh, I would suspect that must be six foot deep at least. So the problem, Ian, we've got now is yeah. coffee, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Paul. Because um, we're kind of beyond the coffee stop. Belton's so. coffee house is nice. No, it's not. It's a bit expensive. Yeah. I don't like it. Never it's garden nice, centre, dude. garden centre. What no about, garden centres are like. What about a Costa? Where? From a garage. Oh, from a garage? <laughs> I'd rather do a Costa at a garage than a garden centre. Just for a change, mate, we've got some flooding. Yeah. Well, stay there. Okay. Stay there. You risk life and limb, see yeah. how deep it is. Go deep, Paul, deep. Danger to life. Yes. Red warning. Well, that saves me washing the bike when I get home anyway. Got a wet arse. It's dropped lower now, hasn't it? Huh? It's dropped lower. This is not as deep. No. You couldn't see the, the white line before. This has dropped quite a lot. Yeah, it's Because it our feet, my feet, my feet were totally in it, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, I've got a wet foot. Is it a bit deep, that puddle? You alright mate? It's uh it's 
exploded. That's a deep one, mate. Now, aren't you? I've got a wet thing. I've got a wet thing. Everything's grinding a bit. I think I might have grit in my chain. Look at that. Is. <laughs> 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 you weren't so expecting that, were you? No. Have you got a new bottom bracket ready? <laughs> no. So Ian was just saying uh, his bike is about due for service. It is now, isn't it? It is now, yes. Now you've ridden through all those deep puddles. Yeah, well, they call... We weren't going to go off-road, were we? We, we wasn't, mate, no. We were going to stay, stay on the road so we didn't get wet. I think the deepest we went to was about there, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Still, life's an adventure, isn't it? Farm shop and cafe, mate. Yeah, baby. Do you have a nice sausage and egg there, mate? Mate, that sausage was beautiful. I'll get a pump, pumpkin for the way home. Yeah, pumpkin helmet. Pumpkin pie. You could put one on your... If you had a rack on the back, you could put a big pumpkin on it. Can you cook pumpkin? So we have done 26 and a half miles. Got about two and a half miles to go. It's been an adventure this ride. Lots of footage. The original plan, believe it or not, was to stay on the road so we didn't get wet or muddy. We failed miserably in that task. You all right, mate? Yeah, good. Your bike's quite clean though. It's probably because it got mud guards on. Yeah, well, I'm so professional. Like I was that. just telling the viewer you know, the plan was to go out and uh, not get wet or muddy yeah. by staying on the road. And we failed miserably. But we've got the first big puddle coming around this corner that we are afraid. So we're just coming up to what was the first big floodage on the way out. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone, gone quite quickly. It's gone. It's not here. Yes, it's, put, it's dissipating away quite quickly, actually. On the way out, that was uh, six inches deep, I think, that one. You're right then, mate. End of the ride. Great ride again, Paul. an adventure, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Weren't expecting any of that when we left. No, um, and to be honest, yeah. I really didn't think I was on a bike ride at some stages. I thought <laughs> I was actually playing in a little paddling pool. Yeah, or a deep swimming pool. Yeah. So after that ride of lots of flood exploring, I should say goodbye. And we shall see you in a week or so's time. Bye for now. Bye bye for now.